Hey, Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? I have a folder of artwork here uh, with the Lydia books, six books, um, delivered to Oxford University Press in September 1986. These were my first ever books. And today I'm going to show you artwork for Lydia and the Ducks. Um, we'll open this up. And here we have... Um, all the artwork, all the lettering is on an overlay, on a transparent overlay. And you can see there's blue pencil on here. The blue doesn't show up uh, when you're photographing black artwork. The camera is only looking for black. And the lettering here has been photo set, <laughs> which is very fancy in those days. And I can feel there's a little bit of kind of ridged ribbing under there, which means it was stuck on with one of those really nice, uh, fancy, uh, hot wax <laughs> things <laughs> you stick the artwork through and you've kind of put a little bit of wax on the back so you could press it down uh, whereas us mere mortals we had to use cow gum <laughs> which is really s smelly and sticky and there's also bits of Chinese on here because it was printed in Hong Kong and so the Chinese printers have made little uh, comments and marks as well and I did the lettering by hand on these um, and, and they obviously liked it, and that became a cover. Whereas nowadays, I, I don't think they would do that. Uh, this is um, a whole photo uh, copy kind of set to show the printers where the type will go. And this is photocopied, but you can see there's a kind of a ridge there, and, and that's where the kind of ridges of, of wax are underneath when they've sort of pasted it down. You know, you do that control C, control V kind of thing, cut and paste. <laughs> That's where cut and paste comes from. And this is the title page. Again, the photo set over the top. And here I had originally <laughs> done a lettering in black over the top, and they've cut that out. We don't want that. <laughs> and they've put this on here to say, we don't want that either. We don't want any signatures on here. Um, they said put Oxford University Press instead, 1987. And so that's the last page. So let me get this in order. Uh, Lydia and her mum are going to feed the ducks. And this is uh, <laughs> what I used to do. So when I was at art college, I would go stay with my brother. And, um, and he had two, two little girls at that stage. And so Lydia was quite small. And, um, and 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 I would take them off to feed the ducks. <laughs> That's kind of what we did. And he lived uh, very close to the River Thames, so we would go for a walk. And there was a little stream nearby and a ford. We would have to go through, um, and the ducks would be there waiting every day to be fed. And so it's about going to feed the ducks, which is just a thing you do when you're a toddler. It's kind of part of life, isn't it? Wah, wah, wah. The duck calls all his friends. And sure enough, all the ducks come. <laughs> this is really the story, I think, where the whole idea for these books came about because I'd be staying uh, with my brother and sister-in-law um, sort of Christmas time over the vacations. And they had a tiny, tiny little house. So I was <laughs> on, on a bit of foam or something on the floor in the children's bedroom in a sleeping bag. And so Lydia would wake up teething in the middle of the night. And so I would um, take her downstairs, make her a cup of tea, give her some cowpole paracetamol and um, calm her down and have a little chat and she'd have a cup of tea, I'd have a cup of tea and I'd tell her stories about what we'd been doing that day and how we'd been to feeding the ducks and, and, and that's how these stories came about really um, just talking about just talking about the ducks and then one day I thought perhaps I should write these stories and a lot of, it, it's interesting because a lot of stories do come out of families and people do send me stories, say, would you mind looking at this story? And don't, please don't send them to me. <laughs> and when I read them, I think, this is a family story. And it, it doesn't have general appeal. And and the secret is to say, oh, this is a lovely family story, and, and whatever it is, but what's the essence of the story? And then rewrite it 
as a story for everyone and not for your family. It's fine to do a story just for your family and that's lovely. And, and the great thing is um, with uh, Amazon Kindle stuff, you can get it printed and it's fantastic. Um, but if you want to um, you know, create books to sell, they have to have a universal appeal and not just for within your family or within your very tight little area. The ducks are uh, looking at the sandwiches and flying away with the sandwiches. There they go. Oh no, said Lydia, they've eaten our lunch. And so this is page one, page 14. <laughs> so never mind, says mum, we'll go home for lunch. And so they do. Hmm. Well, well, there we go. Thanks for watching. And make sure that you are subscribed to the Shoe Runner Drawing Channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing and artwork and illustration videos. And then next time I will show you the artwork for Lydia and her garden. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 illustrating, illustrating, illustrating. <laughs> I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.